so i just got this book a couple of minutes ago and it was sent to me by the writer marietta the page for the book is called i have good hair children's book and look at how beautiful this book is i have good hair so bad strong stubborn and then look at why so <laughs> To Grace, Ella, and Vicky, always remember your hair is just as good as everyone else's. P.S. You just have to moisturize it. Stay blessed, Marietta. I've got good hair. I've got African in my jeans. Such a beautiful book. The illustrations are popping. Like, love it. And all my girls have natural hair. I love this. Um, what do you call this Ankara print? This Ankara print, something star. I can't remember what it's called. See here, though. <laughs> oh, it's such a nice book. I've gone through it already, and it just it just teaches children to just teaches you to love your hair, you know, to appreciate your hair and understand that your hair is beautiful. It might not be the same thing with someone else's, but it's beautiful the way it is. <laughs> well, hello. When I walk by, people stop and stare. I wave when they point. Wouldn't want to disappoint. It. Yes. <laughs> it just preaches confidence, man. I have good hair. I love to wear it in different styles twists, bantu knots, braids, and puffs. So many choices. Let me see your hair do. Say it loud and I'll say it proud. I have good hair. I have good hair. I have good hair. And so do you. It's so nice. So nice. Thank you. shopping you buy things that are necessary but then at the end of the day it's like your chest is bikini because of the amount of money spent this is the damage that was done all of this and then we have some there and we have this all more stuff what did I buy for you what did I buy for you what do you want stuff I want to offload these things. Hey guys. Mommy, please. So today is on Friday. And my girls are dressed and ready for school. And Auntie's following them as she does every day. Vicky follows them every day. I just smile as not tired of his <laughs> To do and I'm here. Oh, this such a So we just finished watching Chief Daddy. Me and my brother. My fine brother. Apply with him. <laughs> you pay groom prize though. <laughs> to me. How oh, this movie was 
But what do you think about the movie? It's dope. It was, was it dope? Well, yeah, it was fun, sure. Like someone said, it's a feel good movie. You just want to enjoy the, the pictures, the actresses and actors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and it was very funny. It was funny. It was funny. This boy too they snap. Let's be as good as your own one. You want me to stay, tell me to stay. Is it full? No, no, my sister. I'll see an exit of the future. Just few fools. Let's go home. Yeah, just last few cents. This boy likes to take picture more than get safe. Should they snap? I don't care. You do, you do. You do, bro. Just food. No food. So I just got back home. Look at how nice my makeup looks. See, I was a lot more put together than I should have been. My brother called me around, I think it was by like 12. He called me around to and he was like, what am I doing? So I told him I was just about to film. I had already done my makeup. I was filming a review for this hair because the review was already long overdue. So I told him I was already done with my makeup. So he told me he, he was about to buy two tickets for us to watch Chief Daddy. So I was like, okay, you know what? Let me just film quickly and then meet up with you. Because see, this is my last area. We now have a cinema. So yay to that. So we don't need to go all the way to Ikeja to watch movies. We can hardly even go to the movies, particularly because it's just too far. I can't it's too far for me to get dressed and then start going to, to watch a movie and then come back home. So, luckily for us, we have a movie, um, a cinema now in Ota. So, that's actually why I went out. So, I just took the makeup I had on. Maybe I was done filming. I just threw on that kimono and then went out. But you guys, this hair is right up my alley. I love the hair so beautiful and i've done the review so you, the review will probably be up by now tomorrow is saturday we're going to my mom's house i want the girls to make their hair in my mom's house too very early in the morning we'll just join my husband and then he'll drop us in my mom's place and hopefully we'll just be there so we can eat dinner there so i don't have to cook when we get back home so that's what's gonna happen tomorrow i'll see you guys <laughs> so i'm just about to leave home we're going to grandma's house Put my um, um dog. Your what? Dog. Oh dog. No, this is not Snapchat, baby. You can't use dog with my camera. But it but but butterfly. No, you can't do all those ones with my camera. It's only butterfly, my Butterfly no yeah. Yeah, there's no butterfly here, it's only on my phone. I can't see, do butterfly. Oh, oh yes, yeah, there's butterfly on your blouse. Wow. Ma, the music is stopping. The answer is talking it. Is that we are going too far, ba? The girl knows it's stopping. No, she said tapping the thing. No. Ma, come closer. Let my baby hear music. Oh, oh, she, she's still. Ma, she has removed it. Oh, Abby, where your something is not working again.
today's Sunday. Um, we didn't go to church. Um, I don't know. I just been feeling really tired, so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to skip church today. But I, I've been watching Great Leaf, and oh Lord God, you know how some things get to you, get to the bottom of your soul. I was just watching this scene, and I'm like, what the? Fuck? If you watch Green Leaf, you. Maybe you've not gotten here, so it's going to be a spoiler for you. Sorry about that. But I'm going to have to show you guys something. So this girl, Zora, has been on lockdown because she was going out with one boy that was beating her, blah, blah, blah. Tried to... Um, what did she do? Tried to run away with the boy. So she was on lockdown with her grandma. And then she turned 18. And she decided to move out. She was like, she's free. She decided to move out of her grandma's house. Her parents were coming to pick her up that day, but then she decided to move out. So they were like, do you have a plan? Room and then her boyfriend's car. The same boy that's been hitting her. Now the boy just pulls up and she's like, oh, you know, pop the trunk. Or pop, open the trunk, whatever, open the trunk. She throws her bag in and then she's about to hop in with the boy. And the, her father is like, is this boy mad? Because the last time something like that happened, when the boy hit her, the father actually blew him. So, you know, America and all their press card these things, but nothing happened then. I don't think anything happened. So now the boy lifted his phone. The boy was like, okay, we're going live. You know, the boy was recording everything, telling, threatening the man, asking the man to hit him because he knew the man wasn't going to be able to do that. And then let, let me let me just show you guys what happened because I'm just like, you see, this is this the scene is getting to me because I'm just imagining my own daughter, my 18 year old, getting into the car with her boyfriend and telling me that she's leaving. That is, she has gone. She has left, she has gone out of her life and she's going to live her life now on her own because that's what's happening. And then they are trying not, they are holding themselves from not slapping the boy, beating the boy. And then the mother was like, okay, let me just, you know, calm down because, you know, being erratic about the situation won't help matters. So let me just calm down. And then the mother gave her a phone and was like, okay, if you need to reach out to me, this is my phone, you can call, the girl's like, oh, do, you want, do you want to bug me? She's like, no, just reach out if you want to talk. And then this stupid boy picks up the phone and throws it out of the window. Let's watch it together because <laughs> at this point I'm like, okay, okay. Just let me. What's going on? Is this that Isaiah boy? Lord, help me. Oh, I'm going to whip your tongue. Just give us a second to get this all cleared up. Please. No. Hey, what size you slamming my door, old lady? Can you imagine? This boy treat you, treat you like nothing. What do you want to be? You don't understand. I talk to my daughter for a second. Oh, please. Yes. By all means. You have all the answers. So with hope. Man, please, you shut your mouth for one blessed second. My daughter's about to throw her whole life away. It's not about you for once. No, it's about you. You are not going to take everything that I've worked so hard for you for and destroy it like this, Sora. You don't even want me around. See, baby. Hey, slow boy. You put one hand on my daughter. One hand, you hear me? You can take one from me. What, so you can bug me? Later. You know, at least. Let's look at you, stupid face. Just in case face. you want to reach out, okay? I won't call you. But you just want to bug me out, though. Please, just take it. Here. Careful. Look at how he picked up the phone and threw it out of the bloody room. Is this boy mad? Oh God. Oh Lord God Almighty. I swear. Nah. Can this boy just do this thing in a country like this? Because he will be beaten mercilessly. Mercilessly. Like, look how everybody's just standing and watching it happen and watching the boy drive away. Nobody can stop him. Wow. 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 So I'm about to make chicken stir fry. I have my peppers here. Colorful. I have spring onions. I have onions and I have my chicken here. I just want to shred it. I have it. And then, whatever I
so it's past eight i just gave the girls dinner i saw my husband want to quickly step out and eat somewhere just hang out sharp it was impromptu just wearing this cold shoulder top and jeans and slides Yeah, um, Monica will bag the girls for me. I'll put them to bed so by the time we get back, we will already be asleep, which is good for me because once we get back, I can just come to bed and sleep. I was just getting home. Girls are asleep, so I used to go to eat. I had one shawarma that I didn't really like. I wish I wish that shawarma was good, but I didn't really like it. But then I had asu and I also tasted some of my own bath soup. So I was good anyway. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, so um I just I woke up this morning, you know, sent the girls off to school. Their dad took Victoria with him because Victoria has been following him for school runs for the past two weeks since the girls started school anyway, which is about two weeks ago. She's been following um, my husband to drop them in school, and then you know when she gets back, I just feed her and then we just start the day. Um, so I was on my phone like whenever they go, I just try to rest, go through social media, watch videos that I downloaded the night before, and all of that. So you know, I was just going through my phone, and then I saw in a post from Bob Risky where he talked about um, Jesse Smollett in Empire. <clears throat> this is one that we can't remember his name. I don't understand. Hakim, um, Andre. Why can't I remember his name? Andre and Hakim. Like I don't know. It's this morning. I just tried to remember again. I I, I cannot remember his name. I saw Bob Risky posted something and Risky was you know, sending out his sympathies and all of that. And I was like, I hope he's not dead. And then I went um, and searched his hashtag. And then I saw that he experienced a homophobic attack in Chicago. So basically, he was coming out of a club or somewhere by 2 a.m. And then some people jumped him. You know there were racist slurs and you know homophobic slurs just calling him gay nigger blah 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 and um they poured a chemical substance on him which i read that it was bleach and thank god it wasn't acid and then they also you know put a rope on his neck so i i don't understand you see it is it's just funny because even in the comments people were saying things like if he was in Nigeria and uh, this happened to people who won't sympathize with him but now it's in America people are sympathizing with him and all of that but what beats me is the fact that people feel they should attack somebody based on whoever it is that they are and I understand that because of how we were raised and because of how um, our upbringing, our religion and everything, people are not so comfortable with the whole gay thing and transgenders and um, bisexuals and all of that. But in the real sense of it, that's why they say live and let live. There's a very strong message behind that quote, live and let live. Because at the, I was telling my husband this morning, People who are saying, oh, if we, if I catch Bob Risky, I will beat him. How does what Bob Risky is doing affect your life? Does it threaten your life? Is it threatening to put your mother in a grave? Is it threatening to give you a heart attack? Like, how does somebody going about their normal, their living life the way they chose to live it, how does it affect anybody? And it's, I don't know, it's not so difficult to understand. It's not algebra, it's not rocket science. It's not so hard to understand that. It's okay for you to sit down in your house and condemn what they are doing or just say, oh, that boy is disgusting. Why is he gay? And you guys, he's too, like, for me that guy is too fine to be gay like what that's a fresh man that one gay can be loving up you know and then he's gay so that is by the way but then so 
someone has chosen to live his life that way it's better for you to see it's easier for you to see in your house condemn their acts say oh that's disgusting it, it doesn't align with my religion or, or, or my beliefs and then that is it but for you to decide to lay your hands on them to injure them to hurt them to cause sometimes lasting damage emotional damage physical damage on them because they are living life the way they want to that is a huge problem that is a big problem that is a that is just a big problem because they they are not in any way affecting your life they're not in any way they're not in any way harming you so why you know our beliefs should be our beliefs and it should be something that we would stand with god one-on-one -on -one, you know and at the end of the day it's between you and god your relationship is between you and god or whatever it is that you serve but i don't think there's anywhere in the bible or anywhere in any holy book or any whatever that says you should have people who are not living life the way you have chosen to live your life we live life we live our lives differently but it doesn't mean the next person has to do the same thing that you do that's why i say that's why it's life it's a journey we're going on our own lane walk on your own path follow the path that you chose to follow and let someone else do theirs for the fact that it doesn't affect you for the fact that it doesn't put your life at risk for the fact that it doesn't put your health in jeopardy it doesn't threaten your family members lives why do you need to be violent towards them i cannot even for the life of me understand it we need to look past the way people live their lives and look at who they are as people it's just really really important honestly and i feel like that's why you see a lot of Nigerians are so mad. Everybody says, oh, why are you like this? You see them going off in Bob Reese's comments. Ah, if I catch you, if we see you for road. I'm like, I know it's annoying you. Like, it can piss you off. But when you decide to lift your hand or feel like being violent is going to change the situation, then you're just stupid. You're just sick in the head. Something is definitely wrong with you if you look at them and you feel like when you see them when you beat them when you pour something on them when you do this when you do that that's going to change the way they are or it's just going to make is it, is it going to make you feel better like i don't understand is it going to make them feel any better about themselves or better about the situation i don't get it because man i was just really sad when i read the news um, because i really like him i was really sad when i read it. i just hope he's fine i hope he gets better and i'm just grateful that it wasn't acid i heard it was bleached i'm grateful it wasn't acid they put on him it's just crazy it's just crazy life is crazy thank you guys so much if you watch to the end you are amazing I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i'm going to leave you guys with a video from one of my subscribers her name is Anne, and we've been talking for a while i was supposed to put up this video a long time ago but whenever i'm editing the vlogs i don't find a place to put it and i don't know for i think the last two three vlogs i haven't ended or i ended with something and then i forgot to include it so today i'm going to just give you guys a video she sent to me thank you so much Anne, and thank you to everybody who has supported me all through i love you guys bye hello my name is Anne. i'm from london i live in london and i'm your biggest fan i always watch your videos on youtube every single day yeah so just keep up the good work that you're doing and yeah I'll always 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 support you all the time and yeah we're, i'm always here for you and yeah even most of my friends anytime i go and visit my friends i always like <laughs> play your videos for them to watch and to see you as well and yeah 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 i really really appreciate the good work that you're doing and i'm just very very happy for you and i'll always support you and your family and i hope to meet you one day in london yeah hope to see you in london one day and i'm always your biggest fan and yeah so have a nice day and thank you very much